I'm Brittany. Hi, Brittany. <laughs> nice to nice meet you. Nice to finally meet you. We're so happy to be yeah. here. <laughs> We're happy to get this build going for you guys. Let's get it going then. If you missed the first video in our build series, that video gives a complete overview of everything we're doing to this Gladiator. You can check that out if you like. I'll link it right here. But in today's video, we're going to be laser focused on the Alucab Canopy Camper itself. This part of our build will effectively be our home for the next 10 to 15 years as we attempt to drive around the world. Check this out. We are so excited. This thing is a beast. When picking out our new home for the next 10 to 15 years, we knew we needed a reliable habitat that could withstand the journey we were about to head out on. You may or may not know this, but Alucab is based in Cape Town, South Africa, and when they field test their products, they do so by utilizing the African Safari rental market. So to say that these units have been put to the test is an understatement. They figured out what worked, what needed to be addressed, and they got these things really dialed in. Also, this thing is huge compared to what we're used to, yet it's small enough to afford us the type of overlanding that our family enjoys. The unit is completely customizable. The modular design pretty much makes your imagination and your budget the only limiting factor as to what you can do with it. We learned a ton of lessons through our years of overlanding, which we've incorporated into this global build that we're going to show you. In this video, we'll show you some of the build process and then focus in on some of the features that made us choose the Alucab Canopy Camper as our new home. So let's get into the build. The team at Juniper Overland in Denver, Colorado installed our Canopy Camper for us and the first step was removing the tailgate off the Gladiator and then setting up the fitment kit to prepare for the install of the Canopy Camper itself. The bottom half of the setup seems simple compared to the top half. The team at Juniper quickly knocked out the bottom half and then moved on to the top half to prepare that section. Now just to be clear for those curious, the Canopy Camper is not a slide-in camper. It's actually fitted directly onto the vehicle using a specific fitment kit. As a quick side note, if you're thinking of getting one of these units for yourself, as of this video, the Canopy Camper can be used on over 20 different trims of various makes and models of pickup trucks. And you can find out which one specifically by visiting the Alucab website. All right, so after doing what they could on the ground, the team started gauging where all the accessories we had selected would ultimately end up, and they took the time to inspect them to make sure they were ready for the install as well. Then they had to hoist the unit using a forklift to get the final preparations made on the top half of the fit kit. Once the bottom half and the top half were done, it was the moment of truth. It was time to marry the two together and bring the unit over to Dauntless, and this would prove to be the most challenging portion of the install. One of the things we really appreciated about Juniper Overland is their level of attention to detail. I don't know, maybe it's the retired military guy in me, but just seeing Josh and his team take a look at every angle, every corner, every single part of the fitment kit, and how the pieces were coming together really made me feel like we had chosen the right shop for this build. I don't want this to sound like an acceptance speech at the Oscars, but when a handful of people are building out your home on wheels for the next 10 to 15 years as you drive around the world, they deserve a thank you. So to Josh, Chris, Clint, Jennifer, Charlie, Chuck, and Mariah, thank you for all of your hard work in helping us make our dream a reality. Now once the Canopy Camper had been placed onto the back of Dauntless, then the team worked to make sure every corner, every seal, and every seam was in the correct place. They looked over every part of the fitment kit and ensured that it was connected correctly. It was fantastic to see the level of expertise during this most challenging section of the Alucab portion of the build. Here you can see where the bottom half of the fit kit and the top half were married together both on the driver and the passenger side. We made a few mods which we'll talk about in a future video. Now let's go ahead and do a quick walk around the lower half of the Alucab Canopy Camper so that you can see the quality of the unit for yourself. We threw Josh a curveball when we told him that we wanted his team to flip the rear entry door because we wanted our living area to be on the passenger side of the vehicle. Normally the rear door swings open from left to right, but our door actually opens from right to left. This will make much more sense to you, our community, when the build is complete and we do a full walk around of the entire finished project. Remember, we're building this rig out in four different cities, so we still have a ways to go yet. But what I really wanted to show you was how beefy this thing is. The unit itself, the hardware, the fittings, everything on this unit is designed to withstand the rigors of overland and off-road travel. One of the coolest features are the side wing doors, which we'll show you next. The two side wing doors on the side of the Canopy Camper really are cool. 
They lift up using gas struts, which you can actually customize for weight depending on what you have mounted on the outside of the door itself. They also come standard with these National Luna lights, which provide both white and red lighting that is adjustable depending on your application. And we opted to add the midge or mozzie nets as well on both sides so that we could open up the side wing doors, close down the netting, which would allow us to have a nice cross breeze of fresh air. The add-on panels also have a blackout shade for privacy, and again, the quality of the nets, shades, zippers, and hardware are evident everywhere you look on the unit. Really a fantastic setup here on the Alucab Canopy Camper, and a mod that I would highly recommend. The rear door, which is the entry point to the Canopy Camper, is massive. Deleting the tailgate on the vehicle makes this door possible and provides easy access to the interior space. Take a look at the hinges. The hinges are riveted, and there's an abundance of sealing and gaskets to keep the interior water, dust, and bug free. Normally, this door handle would be on the bottom left of the door, but since we had the team flip the door, ours is on the top right. But just take a look at this mechanism. I'm pretty sure it was designed based on the doors of the back of big 18-wheeler trucks. It's really hefty, and it's lockable from both inside and outside the vehicle. We also opted for the spare tire mount as an accessory. Even though the Gladiator spare is underneath the vehicle, we wanted the ability to carry two spares for times when we'll go really remote. And lastly, we opted for the midge netting on the main door as well. Pretty cool. All right, I gotta tell you, I almost didn't include this segment in this video because it kind of gives a little bit of a spoiler as to what we're building out on the inside of the Canopy Camper, and we're saving all those details for future videos in this overlanding build series. But I did want to give you the opportunity to see what it looks like when you're looking inside the passenger side wing door. Um, so there it is. We'll head inside the camper in just a moment. But first, take a look at this. So on both sides of the canopy camper, there's this aluminum plate that goes up to a support bracket for the cab over section of the canopy camper. And as I scroll over, you can see that underneath the bottom of the canopy camper and above the roof of the vehicle, there's a space. And for most trucks, Alucab makes a fantastic table that fits in this space. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with the Gladiator. We were totally bummed that we couldn't get it, but let's go ahead and show you a few of the things that we did get. We opted for the Alucab Shower Cube, which is essentially a square frame that deploys with an enclosure that provides privacy for changing, showers, or a toilet. We also added the Alucab fresh water tank, which holds 13 gallons of water and the Alucab bags designed for it because storage is king. On the passenger side, we added the Alucab shadow on. A 270 degree awning that goes all the way around to the back of the vehicle. We'll feature it in a future video. And now it's finally time to head inside. Welcome to what will be our home. We're so excited to show it to you. As you enter, you can simply push up the bottom of the sleeping platform, which completely opens up the space. It's huge compared to what we're used to. I'm five foot nine and raising my hand fully above my head, I don't even come close to touching the highest point inside the camper. I laid down in the bed of the truck to show you the perspective of just how large this is for such a small platform. And that orange pull strap that you see is for the smaller portion of the bed that you could also push up to gain even more space. Now standing up, I'm panning the camera down towards the entry so you can see it from that angle. On both sides of the canopy camper, there are windows that have a blackout shade and a mozzie netting. You can adjust to your comfort, obviously, depending on the location. And the quality of each piece is evident when you touch it. It's really well built. I highly encourage you to find one of these in person and check it out. Now, do you remember that smaller portion of the bed, the one with the orange pull strap? Well, here it is up close. It's really sturdy. And interestingly enough, it's the perfect height to be a stand-up desk when you're inside the canopy camper. It's a great place to get some work done. Let me go ahead and put that back up and show you the main bed in the tent. When fully placed down, this bed measures 100 inches long by 54 inches wide. The smaller platform I was showing you earlier can also be raised so that one person could get out of bed while the other one's still sleeping. On both sides of the bed, there are reading lights that come standard with the canopy camper, as well as USB ports and 12 volt outlets. It's a really cool setup. One of the things that amazes us most is that all of this fits into this Alucab Canopy Camper. It is so low profile. Check this out from the side. When you look at it from this angle, you can tell that the folks at Alucab even took like gas mileage into consideration. 
You can add load bars, do whatever you want, totally customizable. And we've customized ours the way we like it. Hope you've enjoyed it. You guys drop us a comment, let us know what you think. Tell us if we're missing something. Tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like. Either way, hey, this is our home. We are so excited to show it to you. Thanks for joining us. Our next video is actually gonna show you Caspian's bed and the interior. We can't wait to show it to you. You guys, the interior of this build is gonna be awesome. Comment, like, subscribe.